Welcome to another weekly UAS news update. And this week I've got five topics for you. The first one is the Phantom 4 Pro. There's a rumor about it. It may or may not be true, but I still want to talk about it. I want to talk about a new design for a drone. It's called a bicopter. We'll talk about that. And then there was some news about the AMA. This was actually at the end of 2019. I didn't get a chance to talk about it. So I want to mention uh, some approval that was given to fly about 400 feet. And the big news this week is the Evo 2 from Hotel that was released with some specs and I'll talk about that. And the last one is the drones in Colorado. I'm sure you've heard about it by now. If you haven't, then, uh, then I'll tell you everything I know about it. All right, let's get started. All right, the first piece of news that I have is more a piece of rumor than a piece of news, but I still want to mention it. Uh, it's unlikely that it's going to happen because the, the source is kind of hiffy. Uh, this is Drone DJ that posted that the uh, Phantom 4 Pro is likely coming back into production the second week of January. Now, we're really close to the second week of January, so we'll find out very soon. Uh, if it is, uh, there's been a lot of demand for the Phantom 4 Pro actually from professionals out there because it's a great platform. It's kind of a, the workhorse of the industry. A lot of people are using it. And um, it's getting harder and harder actually to find batteries, for example, for it. And uh, so if this is true, then the Phantom 4 Pro could be coming back. I think I'd rather see an update and see something else, the Phantom 5 that has been rumored for several years now. Uh, but uh, so we'll find out. Uh, the, the reason I'm saying this may or may not happen is because uh, Drone DJ had made a very similar post back in August saying that the production was going to start again in September. So um, we'll see. We'll find out. The next thing is this company called Zero Zero Robotics is uh, just unveiled a new type of copter. I'm not calling it a quadcopter because it's a, a, a duocopter or whatever you want to call it. It's got two motors and it's kind of designed in a V-shape like this. Now, if any of you are familiar with the, uh, the Osprey, the, the Boeing Osprey, uh, aircraft which has two motors like this and it allows it to take off kind of like a VTOL and then eventually the, 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 the motors rotate like this, the engines rotate and then it's able to fly uh, like, a, like an airplane. So this is kind of the idea here with this V-copter uh, and um, only has two motors and uh, kind of an interesting design. They're claiming 50 minutes of flight time, which I think is quite amazing. Now they only have two motors, so you know, half the battery consumption, also half the lift. So I'm not sure if that's true or not. The specs are not really all that impressive. Uh, 4K video at 30 frames per second. It's a small sensor, one over two thirds of a sensor. So it's, it's not really anything all that excited. And it retails at $1,000. So there's a lot of competition at that level at $1,000. But if you want more information, 00robotics.com. I'll put a link down in the description and you can kind of go see. I think it's just, a, it's cool that they're kind of innovating and finding different designs. I'm not sure about the stability of it. I'm really, uh, there's a lot of questions kind of open on this design. Something that I was going to talk about at the very end of 2019, it kind of fell through because of the NPRM, but the AMA was invited to what's called an SRM panel. Now, SRM stands for Safety Risk Management. The FAA has these panels where they ask questions from uh, well, various people. And uh, the AMA was invited to attend one of these and four different sites specifically that had requested to fly over 400 feet in controlled airspace were invited to be part of this panel. As a result of the discussion, the FAA actually granted all four of these sites approval to fly above 400 feet at the AMA site in controlled airspace. So kind of a step forward. I've uh, reported on this before saying that uh, the, uh, the AMA basically was given a big blanket no on flying over 400 feet. Now, as we know, a lot of these uh, sites have been doing this for years and years without any issues in controlled airspace. But the changes in regulation with Section 349 kind of put a damper on all this. So uh, they're moving forward. The FAA says that moving forward, they'll be taking every case, uh, every site on a case by case basis and seeing if they can give them approval. The big news this week is the Evo 2 from Hotel that is finally released. I've talked about this, I think, twice in the past in 2019. Uh, it was rumored to have an 8K sensor, and guess what? It does have an 8K sensor. Now, this is a series. There is actually three drones that they're uh, planning on releasing. Now, this is there's no production just yet. It is currently in production. Uh, we haven't really seen anything coming out of the, the factory, but there's an Evo 2, which is the base model, 
which is going to be an 8K sensor. Now, 8K, 8,000 pixels, meaning that you can do 8K videos, which is which is a lot of pixels. Now, I've talked about this before, saying that uh, this is not for everyone. Obviously, 8K videos, there's not a whole lot of places where you can play these at full um, size. But for people that do inspection, this means that you can actually zoom in and go back down to a 1080 or even a, a 4K uh, size. So that's kind of a big deal right here. The 8K is a half inch sensor, so not really big. I have no idea how they're, they're packing so many pixels because it's a 40 uh, megapixel sensor. So they're putting those 40 uh, million pixels into that uh, half inch surface area, which is kind of, in, kind of crazy. The bitrate is actually really good. If you're familiar with bitrate on the videos, it's 120 megabits and 10 bit encoding. So it should be fairly good image. Now the small size sensor, that's the one thing that I'm not too sure just yet, but we've seen those uh, smaller sensors in the past. Now that's the base model. The next model is the Evo 2 Pro, which has a one inch sensor, which is similar to what you'll find on the uh, Mavic 2 Pro and only 20 megapixels in this case but if you look at the range actually the iso range is a lot more than it is on the half inch sensor uh, this has a 6k resolution which means that you can do a video with 6000 uh, by i don't remember i think 4000 maybe i don't remember the ratio and um, again 120 bit and uh, 120 megabits and uh, 10 bit encoding so pretty nice as well and the last model is the evo 2 dual which is an 8K sensor, the one from the basic model, plus a, a FLIR LWR sensor on top of it, which is gonna give you uh, the infrared sensor. Now, this is 640 by 512. That's the resolution for that sensor. Now, if you're not familiar with infrared, the sensors are a lot smaller because they capture a different type of data. So 640 is actually kind of a, a good size sensor for, uh, for the people that can use this size of sensor. That's the best way I can put it. The specs in terms of flight time, 35 to 40 minutes of flight time. And you can find more information on their website, hoteldrones.com. Now in terms of the pricing, there's not really any pricing available just yet because it is still in production at this stage. Um, but the rumor says that basically the, the starting point is gonna be around $1,500. So we'll see. And there's more pricing, more information. I'll let you know and, um, and I'll report on it. The last thing I want to talk about is the drones sightings over Colorado. Now, this is kind of a story that's very difficult to follow because, well, there's a lot going on. Uh, people have been reporting seeing drones doing patterns at, um, in, in rural Colorado. And I think they also have seen them in, uh, in neighboring states. Now, nobody knows what these drones, one, are doing, who they belong to, and uh, if well, basically what they're doing. And so the, the bottom line is people are chasing these drones all around because they want to find out what's going on with this. There's no indication at this stage that anybody is breaking the law because, well, all you need to fly at night. As a hobbyist, there's no regulation. You can fly at night. And as a commercial entity, all you need is an, a, a daylight waiver, which are fairly easy to get. They're not flying over people. They're not really flying over moving cars or anything. They're just kind of doing weird patterns at night. And uh, there's a lot of them. So nobody's gotten to the bottom of it. Uh, it looks like there is more and more efforts to find out who it is. The FA doesn't know who it is. The government says it's not them. So it's kind of been creating this, uh, this uh, Roswell kind of thing around, uh, around drones. Uh, I don't think it's really necessarily a good idea for whoever is doing this uh, to not share any information. This is creating a, not a panic, but it's creating a lot of questions and not really helping our case, unfortunately. R meaning the drone industry because, uh, well, these things are being seen as secretive. So anyway, if there is more going on, I've been kind of following. I have a friend that actually lives in that part of, uh, of the country and, uh, and she's in aviation. She was with me in school. And uh, so I trust when she reports some things to me and it's kind of been interesting to follow all this. So another follow-up which is with the anamorphic lens i went out and did some more footage i was able to finally put this to the test and uh and i have a video coming up on this so i uh, took the drone i, I did some uh, comparison footage so with and without the the lens i know some of you were asking this without the attachment so uh so far the results are amazing uh, there are some downsides to it. The, the, the gimbal has a tendency to drop depending on what you do with the lens. So I'll have a full report very soon. Uh, just need to get to it and grade it. I want to give you some graded footage. 
So it's going to be kind of interesting. Okay, let's finish this with a big thank you to you guys. We have 2000 subscribers. We just passed that limit. And, uh, and I'm really thankful for all of you watching every week. Uh, and then I've said this before, but interacting and, and uh, leaving some very thoughtful comments. So thank you for doing that. Uh, another thing too is we're running a giveaway right now. We're actually giving away a Mavic Mini and we're giving away a, an enrollment in the Part 107 course. And that's happening on our Instagram account. So if you go to instagram.com slash pilot institute on one word, if you follow us and if you find the, um, the post right there and you like the post, then you are entered in the giveaway. So I'm excited giving somebody a drone to go fly and giving them the knowledge to do it safely. So this is exactly what we're about here. Uh, and the, uh, the, the winner will be announced on the 14th of January. So that's coming up next week. This is all I have. As always, thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about all these news and uh, I'll see you next week.